Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we are looking at a beer that was given to me by the punter. We were actually over at the punter's house to meet his baby. Uh, it was me, my wife, and our babies to meet his. And he had one of these in his fridge, and he goes, Hey, have you tried this? And I go, No, I didn't want to buy the 12-pack. He goes, Well, here you go, sir. And I guess... I guess I have to thank him for that. Thanks, punter. And I say, yeah, guess, because uh, he told me he hated this beer, and um, me and the punter don't always agree on beers, but uh, usually if I hate a beer, he hates a beer, and if he hates a beer, I hate a beer. So let's see what I think here. This is Mad Jack Premium Ginger Flavored Lager. So this is the Ginger Mad Jack. So the, uh, I don't like the Apple Mad Jack. I actually liked the Root Beer Mad Jack. So let's try the ginger, right? ABV on this is 5% ABV. It says alcoholic malt beverage. I'm just looking to see if there's any ingredients list on here. And there might be over here. Oh, I can't, I can't read that. I don't even think you can read that here. I'm going to pull this closer. Just to go like this, just in case... The camera can make out anything that's set on there. I don't think it can. But uh, if it can, there's all that stuff. And then this just is, uh, this is in bigger writing. Return for refund. Okay, so that has nothing to do with it. So if it was in there, it was in what I just showed you. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this little tiny drop of water in there. Gone now. Ooh, listen to that. That is ginger ale. For shears. For shears it's ginger ale. It looks like ginger ale. those water marks. Look at those water marks. They shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be there. I just used the scrubby like a minute ago. Shouldn't be there. I think the basement has a lot harder water. Well, I think my whole house has hard water, but the basement doesn't have anything that actually filters it out. I don't have any aerators or anything on my tap down here. It's just an open hole, so I think it fucks with everything, too. Anyway, head's gone right away, but it was very fizzy. Um... Nice golden color. Looks like ginger ale. Smell. <laughs> Get out of the glass. Smells straight up like Canada Dry. Just super sweet. Uh, super sweet with a little bit of a nose twinge in there of that natural flavor of ginger but super sweet at the same time. Out of the can, it smells more like, say, uh, uh, is it God or Caught? I don't, uh, it's it's a no-name brand. I oh, I can never tell what it is because I never read the fucking price tag. I just pick it up some days when I was younger. And uh, the, it, the, um, it, it, it could have been thought of as a, as a, like, artistic C or as a G, the, uh, the name of it. I don't know. It was C-O-T-T -T or G-O-T-T. -T. It was sold at, like, G-T Boutique all the time. Um, smell out of the can reminds me of that. Basically sweeter, but at the same time more, like, a, a more astringent, more acidic type of thing. Just more nose-attacking hairspray-like. But the glass actually smells really nice. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. I want to hate this. I really do. That was just one sip, and I want to hate it. But I can't. I can't hate it. Now, I can say if this called itself a ginger beer, I'd be angry, because there's really no kick at all 
there's nothing like that, but to think of it as a ginger ale, just like a, a pop ginger ale, just, just a alky pop, just to think of it as an alky pop, it's fucking good. You could give this to, and this is the sad thing here, you could give this to kids and they would think they're drinking fucking Canada Dry, because that's all it tastes like, it tastes like Canada Dry. Um, there's no real ginger taste at all, there's that, that like, make-believe, almost pickled ginger, uh, just very, 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 very remnants of it. Uh, sweet, very sweet. <coughs> Excuse me, but it tastes just like, tastes just like ginger ale. And again, Canada Dry. Super sweet, it gives that slightly, gives that same slightly, slightly tiny bit of like, sourness right on the aftertaste that even Canada Dry gives. Very, very carbonated, just like Canada Dry is, just like every ginger ale I've ever had is. It just so much reminds me of Canada Dry that I, I can't not like it. Because that's what my mom raised me on, you know, the, oh, you're sick, let's give you a flat ginger ale, and stuff like that, that whole stupidness. Um, so, this reminds me of all the stuff I would, I would drink back then. It also reminds me of why I am as overweight as I am. No, I was actually in shape until I stopped working out all the time, and yeah, that happened. But when I was a young, when I was younger, before I started working out, yeah, it was stuff like my parent, my mother buying pop all the time instead of fucking giving us just water or milk or juice or something. Or even when she bought juice, it was fucking Kool Aid and stuff. It wasn't pure apple juice or pure orange juice or anything so I can't blame her completely because I still ingested it but it was stuff like this that uh, that did it and when I drink this I remember those uh, those days before I started working out before I before I started wrestling and all that before I started rugby football strongman before I did all that I remember the stuff that I would ingest on the regular and thought was normal because that's what my family gave me and that's not something I want to remember, but at the same time, this tastes good. I can't say it doesn't. Um, out of ten, as a as a drink, I want to drink and uh, get drunk on. Probably a four because the hangover on this would be fucking horrible. I remember the hangover I had. I drank a two four of the uh, C C and G coolers when they came out. The Canada Club and ginger ale the coolers, and that ginger ale sucked ass. Um, I, I remember drinking a 2-4 of that and feeling like I was dying for two days. Uh, so this would scare me with how sweet this is uh, for that wake up. But as a Elky Pop, as, as what it is, a ginger flavored lager, it, it's, it's alcoholic ginger ale is all it is. And uh, in that, uh, it doesn't have a ginger taste really, it doesn't have a ginger bite. So that pisses me off, but since it doesn't call itself ginger beer, I will give it a pass on that. Uh, it's ginger lager, so ginger ale, ginger lager, same thing. Um, but as an Elky Pop, it's great. I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers.